flashing lights and the sounds and the smells may be some of the first things that draw you in, but the Carolina Classic Fair has a few hidden gems tucked away on its grounds as well. And one of those is in the agricultural barn and in today's Go Laney, Laney tells us more about some young people who show up every year to show out. She joins us live now from the fairgrounds. So Laney, how's it going? So far, it's been wonderful. It's good to be back at the Carolina Classic Fair. We've got blue skies. As you mentioned, we have all of the flashing lights, the rides, the sounds, the folks eating all the wonderful food out here. We want you to remember, of course, to bring your canned goods for Crisis Control Ministry because there are folks out there that do need your help to eat every single day. Now, yeah, you see all of this, right? But if you go inside the agricultural barn, you may have gone through and just kind of looked at some of the animals, the sheep, the cattle. But I have you ever actually gone in there and taken in a show? I actually spent an afternoon with a teenager who loves her cows in this week's Go Laney. Charlotte Canary has been around cows her whole life. She's 16 now and part of the Future Farmers of America at her high school in Catawba. This week, she's sharing her love of bovines at the Carolina Classic Fair. This week, I have my Jersey Mercedes, um, my brown Mercedes, Swiss, <laughs> my brown Swiss. Um, this is Tilly, and then my Ashire cow. That's Wish. This week, I'm showing three times. I have my showmanship classes today, my Ashire brown Swiss classes today, and tomorrow I'll have my Jersey classes. So you take a 900-pound animal into a ring, and you. Yes. Hope for the best, yes. right? <laughs> but you've been doing this a while. Yes, I've been doing this since I was four years old. Oh my goodness. And weren't you petrified in the beginning? No, <laughs> I had my grandfather standing right next to me. <laughs> her grandfather got her interested in cows, and it's a family affair with plenty of work to go around before a big show. You got a lot going on, um, clipping, milking, washing, all of the things and the animals. It can get hectic. That requires a lot of skill and a lot of tools. I have all my brushes and my halters in here. I have put up her top line, so it's kind of like a mohawk for the cows. Yeah. Oh yeah, I noticed that. It's so soft. I'm amazed at how soft she is. And in this one here, I have all of my adhesives and... Oh my goodness, yeah. what do you do with all those cans? Oh, um, fly spray, baby oil, sheen spray, um, the black magic for toenail paintings. Oh. <laughs> because her toenails painted. Oh, look at her toenails. They're black. Oh my God. <laughs> They're gorgeous. You did a great job with them. <laughs> Tilly, I like your toenails. Charlotte not only needs her cows to look good, she must know all about their breed and how to handle each cow's unique personality. She has a tendency to walk into the ring and then decide she wants to go backwards. Oh, wow. I went to West Virginia one year and I walked in the ring and all of a sudden she was just walking backwards and I could not get her to She's just doing the moonwalk. You I just know. haven't been to the right event. <laughs> Today, she wants me to take a turn in the ring. <laughs> Am I going to do it? <laughs> We're both going to do it. We okay. have moody, calm, and big. Okay. And then we have just kind of there. I pick calm and big, Tilly. Are you ready to go show off? I'm walking slowly so that the judge sees how smoothly and calmly she can walk. Charlotte and makes it look so easy. Move, now it's my turn. And get in front of her and hold her like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Ooh. then just nudge her a little bit. <laughs> You've got a pretty good pace going, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, Tilly. I know. I'm inexperienced. So pull her up. Pull her up a little bit. Pull her up. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay, push back. So stop her. Yeah. That's good. So what I do, I use my feet. And you know the little nubs back there? You can see them. Push them up a little bit. There oh. you go. Yep, that looks great. <laughs> Look at that. I did it. Uh, <laughs> You're doing so good. You're doing so good. How am I doing, really guys? Well. She's being very tolerant of me. <laughs> There's a huge learning curve for sure. That's why most showmen start when they're young. Hold on to your cow. Just hold on to your cow. OK, yeah, I'll do that. It really just represents what you've got and you take the best that you have and you show it and that just really represents how good your herd of cattle are. Showmanship classes, that's pretty much how you interact with your animal, how quickly you can get things done when the judge asks you to and so forth. As far as breed classes go, they're only looking at the cow and the cow's body structure. It definitely forces you to be around new people, ask new people questions and kind of just branch out. You can't really be shy here. That's not really an option. <laughs> 
Charlotte tells me that she doesn't want you all to be shy either when you stroll through the barn. Ask questions, be interested, not just pass by. Are there any tips? Smile at the judges? That's what I would think. <laughs> yes, yes, that is definitely a plus. They love to know that you're having fun. Right, and I think, I mean, you, I can tell you love it. I <laughs> yeah. absolutely can tell that you love it. Yes, Charlotte has competed in three events this week and on her showmanship class event Monday when we spent the time with her, she came in third place, which is actually really great because she's in a senior class now, so she's on the young end of that age group and the folks that placed ahead of her were 20 and 21 years old. She said it's given her a lot of confidence. She does want you to stop in and ask questions when you come into the barn and I asked her what she thought she might be doing 10 years from now and she said she was thinking about enlisting in the Army, so she's got a bright future ahead of her. Behind me, you're going to see the uh, dunk tank. This should be a Golaney, actually. Remember, if you have an idea for me, you go to Golaney at WXIO12.com. Send me an email. Christine has been freezing up there in the tank, so I'm supposed to get in there at 6 o'clock. So I'll be in there from 6 until 7 o'clock. So we encourage you to come on out. Reed Collective is going to be in the grandstand. They joined us at uh, 545, and they are hilarious, and they are a band from Ireland, and they're ready for you to come have a fun night. So we'll send it back to you guys.